What's up? Seth from Take Mac Sunday, and you're watching Groovy TV. <laughs> Hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Ed from Taking Back Sunday here at the Ogden Theater in Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, sir? I'm tired. Yeah. Very tired. But I'm looking forward to playing tonight. This entire tour is like freaking sold out. It's, that's freaking amazing. Yeah. It's cool. It means people still like our bands. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's a good thing. And there's, there's worse things, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot worse things, like like cancer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's cool. Uh, but we always have good shows here in Denver, so... We're really stoked to play. Oh, yeah, and, like, literally the crowd is freaking two blocks long. It's yeah. pretty freaking insane. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, new album. I freaking love it. I Thank absolutely you. love it. It was like putting it together. It was a long time. It took us, like, two years to write it um, in between tours. And then we took, like, a year and a half off of touring and just went to the weirdest places and locked ourselves into like the weirdest places to just write it like we uh, rented a farmhouse on a mountaintop in west virginia in the middle of nowhere nice. i think bigfoot was our neighbor or something like that <laughs> we wrote most of the record there and then you, you know, any bigfoot songs uh no no bigfoot songs but uh but uh yeah and then we did the rest of it in michigan mm -hmm. up in fenton michigan in the woods of fenton michigan Nice. Yeah. yeah, there's kind of a different vibe to it. I mean, uh, how'd you guys arrive at that? It's just, you know, we all came to the table with what we had, and mm -hmm. it just worked out that way. Nice. Yeah. And we all like different kinds of music, so that always helps out, too. Like, some of us are into our country folk, and then dudes like me are into, like, our metal and stuff like that, yeah. so. What are some of your favorite metal bands? Like, classic or now? Give me a list. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Growing up, Celtic Frost, Sodom. Devastation, nice. um, I can hear a million. Sarcophago, Carcass. Now, Carcass is playing tomorrow. I know. Well, here, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's. I, I heard they're on tour. Now I'm like really into. Uh, into like Ghost. Oh yeah. Uh, and Demo Borgas, you know stuff like that. Right on. Yeah. And then I listen to like. I mean, I listen to a lot of stuff, but I mainly listen to metal. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Have the other guys nuts on the bus is cranking it? Nah, no, they don't let me play that music. They're too wimpy. <laughs> They're too wimpy for me. <laughs> nice. All right, so what's going on after this tour, man? What do you mean? Tour-wise. Tour-wise, I don't know. It's, a, it's the same thing every day. You wake up, find a bathroom, wait all day for sound check, and uh, find another bathroom. Find another bathroom. <laughs> find something to do. Watch a sh crappy movie. Am I allowed to curse? You can do whatever you want. Watch a really shitty movie. <laughs> and then, uh, and then What's get the ready. last shitty movie you saw? Oh, uh, last shitty movie I saw. Hmm. Uh, it was like called Dead Season. I don't know. It's like mm. some horrible zombie flick. About some, yeah, it's some, some sci fi movie. I think I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Netflix? Uh, no, no, on, uh, on Sci Fi Channel. Oh, okay. Yeah, even worse. Piranha Kanda. That's the one. <laughs> Legendary movie. <laughs> Great movie. I love all of those. I like the Sharknado. It was in the Sharknado. Yeah. It's my son's favorite movie, Sharknado. For Christmas, I actually bought him a Sharknado poster. <laughs> he has it hanging up in his room, on his wall. On his wall. <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> there's a, it's probably an April Fool's joke, but there's a poster all over Facebook today for, uh, I think it was Catnado. Catnado? Yeah, it was a pussies at 100 miles an hour. Wow. That would be, that would be great. I hope that's true. I hope so too. Yeah. yeah. That'd be good. That'd be a good movie. Sorry right to do it. <laughs> All right, man. So, is there anything else coming up with the band we should talk about? Um, tonight's show, uh, we're going to finish up this tour. And then, uh, as soon as this tour ends, uh, I think April 27th, we're going to shoot right over to Belgium and nice. do Gros Rock. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing a. Uh, we're going to be playing with uh, a lot of great bands, and we're going to we're going to be opening up for Quicksand, actually, which is a dream come true for me. So that's really cool. I'm very excited. Yeah. Nice. So uh, I know the album just came out fairly recently. What are you doing? Any writing on the road at all? Did I do any writing on the album? Yeah. Anyone doing? Uh, like any writing on the road? Yeah, a little writing some licks or anything. Right now? Well, not this very second. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we'll start writing something, but right now we're just concentrating on you know playing these shows and playing this album. <laughs> I guess which is wicked awesome and you gotta freaking get it yeah definitely buy it it's the best no. it's awesome I love it Thank but you. unfortunately you've reached the part of the interview where I ask you even more stupid questions than I have been okay right. okay 
Okay. The new survey question for 2014 mm -hmm. is, what is the stupidest thing you've ever heard another human being say ever in your entire life? That would be me. And I said, I'm almost right all of the time. <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, though. It's almost like Anchorman logic right there. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's true. <laughs> Okay, man. You want some math? You want a math question? I'm horrible at math. Perfect. Horrible at math. How many times does the number nine appear between one and one hundred? I said uh, one and one hundred. Nine times? No. No. Eight? No. Ten? No. I don't know, man. I guessed eleven, and I was wrong. I don't know. It's twenty. Twenty times. No. Well, there's some knowledge there that we need to know in our lives. That's really important. <laughs> it could save you someday, man. When we talk about something that, like, oh, yeah, nine is going to save my life. <laughs> All right, man. One last one. Good. How many four-year-olds, extremely angry but unarmed four-year-olds, would it take to kick your ass? Uh, well, I would say five, but I have a... I have a seven and an eight year old, mm -hmm. and I remember them when they were four and five, and they both kicked my ass. <laughs> so, you know what? Two. Two. It took two. Any certain way they'd take you down? They just, with their nagging and their arguing, and then running up behind me and, you know, tripping me and just, just climbing all over me when I'm trying to watch a TV show, and then <laughs> defeating me and making me change the channel so they could go watch TV. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This is Ed from Taking Back Sunday. We're at Ogden Theater, Denver, Colorado. Bye. That's an easy one. Yeah. Very simple. <laughs> Very simple person. Yeah, me as well. <laughs> hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Ed from Taking Back Sunday here at the Ogden Theater in Denver, Colorado. How the heck are you, sir? I'm tired. Yeah. Very tired. But I'm looking forward to playing tonight. This entire tour is like freaking sold out. It's, that's freaking amazing. Yeah, it's cool. It means people still like our bands. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's a good thing. And there's, there's worse things, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot worse things, like, like cancer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's cool. Uh, but we always have good shows here in Denver, so we're really stoked to play. Oh, yeah, and like literally the crowd is freaking two blocks long. It's yeah. pretty freaking insane. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, new album, I freaking love it. I Thank absolutely you. love it. It was like putting it together. It was a long time. It took us like two years to write it um, in between tours. And then we took like a year and a half off of touring and just went to the weirdest places and locked ourselves into like the weirdest places to just write it. Like we uh, rented a farmhouse on a mountaintop in West Virginia in the middle of nowhere. Nice. I think Bigfoot was our neighbor or something <laughs> like that. We wrote most of the record there, and then you, you got know. any Bigfoot songs? Uh, no, no Bigfoot songs. But uh, but uh, yeah, and then we did the rest of it in Michigan, mm -hmm. up in Fenton, Michigan, in the woods of Fenton, Michigan. Nice. Yeah. yeah, there's kind of a different vibe to it. I mean, how did you guys arrive at that? It's just you know we all came to the table with what we had, and mm -hmm. it just worked out that way. Nice. Yeah, and we all like different kinds of music, so that always helps out too. Like. Some of us are into our country folk, and then dudes like me are into like our metal and stuff like that. So, what are some of your favorite metal bands? Like classic or now? Give me a list. Uh, oh my God, growing up, <laughs> Celtic Frost, Sodom, Devastation, um, I can hear a million, Sarcophago, Carcass. Now, Carcass is playing tomorrow. I know. Well, here, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's. I, I heard they're on tour. Now I'm like really into uh, into like Ghost. Oh, yeah. Uh, and Demo Borgas, you know, stuff like that. Right on. Yeah. And then I listen to, like, I mean, I listen to a lot of stuff, but I mainly listen to metal. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Drive the other guys nuts and the bus is cranking it? Nah, nah they don't let me play that music. They're too wimpy. <laughs> They're too wimpy for me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, so what's going on after this tour, man? What do you mean? Tour wise. Tour wise, I don't know. It's, a, it's the same thing every day. You wake up, find a bathroom. Wait all day for sound check, and uh, find another bathroom. Find another bathroom. <laughs> find something to do. Watch a sh crappy movie. Am I allowed to curse? You can do whatever you want. Watch a really shitty movie, <laughs> and then uh, and then. What's the ready? last shitty movie you saw? Oh, uh, last shitty movie I saw. Hmm. Uh, it was like called Dead Season. I don't know. It's like mm. some horrible zombie flick. 
about like some it. yeah some some sci-fi movie. I think I've seen it. Yeah. yeah. Netflix. Uh no no on uh on Sci-Fi Channel. Oh okay. Yeah, even worse. Piranaconda. That's the one. <laughs> Legendary movie. <laughs> Great movie. I love all of those. I like the Sharknado. Oh, it's in the Sharknado. Pro, yeah. Yeah. It's my son's favorite movie, Sharknado. For Christmas, I actually bought him a Sharknado poster. <laughs> he has it hanging up in his room, in his wall, on his wall. <laughs> it's a true story. <laughs> there's a. It's probably an April Fool's joke, but there's a poster all over Facebook today for. Uh, I think it was Catnado. Catnado. Yeah, it's pussies at 100 miles an hour. Wow, that would be that would be great. I hope that's true. I hope so too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be good. That'd be a good movie. Sorry right to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So is there anything else coming up with the band we should talk about? Um, tonight's show. Uh, we're going to finish up this tour. And then uh, as soon as this tour ends, uh, I think April 27th, we're going to shoot right over to Belgium and nice. do Gros Rock. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing a... Uh, we're going to be playing with uh, a lot of great bands. And we're going to we're gonna be opening up for Quicksand, actually, which is a... Dream come true for me, so that's really cool. I'm very excited. Yeah. Nice. So uh, I know the album came out fairly recently. But are you doing any writing on the road at all? Did I do any writing on the album? Yeah. Anyone doing? Uh, like any writing on the road? Yeah. A little writing some licks or anything. Right now? Well, not this very second. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure we'll start writing something, but right now we're just concentrating on you know playing these shows and playing this album. <laughs> I, I guess. So. Which is wicked awesome, and you gotta freaking get it. Yeah. Definitely buy it. It's the best. No. It's awesome. I love it. Thank but you. unfortunately, you've reached the part of the interview where I ask you even more stupid questions than I have been. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. The new survey question for 2014 mm -hmm. is, what is the stupidest thing you've ever heard another human being say ever in your entire life? That would be me. And I said, I'm almost right all of the time. <laughs> I don't know how that makes sense. It doesn't make sense, though. It's almost like Anchorman logic right there. Yeah. Uh, yep, that's true. <laughs> okay, man. You want some math? You want a math question? I'm horrible at math. Perfect. Horrible at math. How many times does the number nine appear between one and 100? Is it uh, one and 100? Nine times? No. No. Eight? No. Ten? No, I don't know, man. I guessed 11 and I was wrong. I don't know. It's 20. 20 times. No. Well, there's some knowledge there that we need to know in our lives. That's really important. <laughs> it could save you someday, man. <laughs> when we talk about something that, like, oh, yeah, nine is going to save my life. <laughs> All right, man. One last one. Good. How many four-year-olds, extremely angry but unarmed four-year-olds, would it take to kick your ass? Uh, well... I would say five, but I have a I have a seven and an eight year old, mm -hmm. and I remember them when they were four and five, and they both kicked my ass. <laughs> so you know what? Two, two. It took two. Any certain way they take you down? They just with their nagging and they're arguing, and then running up behind me and you know tripping me and just just climbing all over me when I'm trying to watch a TV show and then defeating me and making me change the channel so they go watch TV. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much, man. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is Ed from Taking Back Sunday. We're at Ogden Theater, Denver, Colorado. Bye.